Hey everybody, this video tutorial is going to show you how to get Studio Devil plugins set up in GarageBand on your Mac. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your audio interface plugged in and powered up and you have your guitar and speakers plugged in and ready to go. Um, you have to look at your hardware um, instructions on how to do that. And also to remember to turn your guitar knob up um, so that you know that if you're not hearing anything that it's because something else is wrong and not that. That's a simple mistake a lot of us forget. So make sure that's all going. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to launch GarageBand. Um, we're going to click here on the dock to get that launched. Now if you don't have GarageBand already on your dock, you can click on the finder and then click on applications and then scroll down to GarageBand start from there. But we have it on the dock so we've uh, already launched it and here it is. What we want to do is we want to pick an acoustic instrument project because that will automatically set up one track with um, standard uh, analog audio input and output. In other words we're not going to be using the built-in guitar processing from um, GarageBand. We're also not going to use like a keyboard instrument. Um, so we're going to pick acoustic instrument, double click that and then we're going to give the project a title. In this case, we'll just call it Studio Devil Garage Band. And we'll put that on the desktop. Um, you don't need to worry about the studio signature and key um, because we're not really writing a song right now. If, if you are, then you can also um, set these things up too. But for now, we'll just click Create and get that started. Okay, so that's going to put... Um, a session up in GarageBand with a track already set up for us um, to basically get started. Now what we want to make sure before we really do anything is we want to go to GarageBand and go to Preferences. And then we want to click onto the Audio MIDI tab. And we want to make sure that the interface that we're using, that we have our guitar and speakers plugged into, is available here and selected. In our case we're using a Motu Traveler. So we want to make sure that they're selected here. And then we also want to make sure that under Optimize 4, we select Minimum Delay when playing instruments live, because that's going to give us the lowest latency. And, uh, and then we'll just close this out once that's set up. Okay, um, now with making sure our guitar is turned up, we're going to strum a little bit and see if we can see a, a signal meter coming in. So you can see that we have uh, some signal coming in on the input, uh, in this little input meter right here. Um, if you don't see that, then you want to make sure that you have this record button on. So you can see that with the record button off, you don't see anything, and with the record button on, you do. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that input monitoring is turned on. That will allow you to actually hear what you're recording while you're playing it. And you do that by right-clicking or option-clicking on this button. Right now I just right-clicked on it and then choosing the option monitor on. This is an important step because without this you won't hear anything. So I'll put monitor on and there you go. You can hear the, the uh, direct signal of the guitar coming through GarageBand. Great. Um, again, that's make sure that you turn this on by clicking on it and also right click on it and select monitor on. So now it's time to add an effect to this track. Uh, and this is where we're going to put Studio Devil onto the track. So we want to go over to the right here where the Edit tab is and click on that. And this is where we have a choice to add some effects. Now these are already built in effects that are on every track. You don't want to play with these, just leave them alone. They're off actually and you want to leave them that way. You want to click onto the next available spot right here. It says click to add an effect. And then you get a list of all sorts of audio units effects that you can add. We're going to scroll down, which is typically where our add on plugins are. And we're going to choose a Studio Devil plugin, in this case British Valve Custom, by just clicking on it. Now we immediately can hear that we have the British Valve Custom effect on the track. But we would like to maybe edit that sound. We might want to change it. And uh, by default, GarageBand doesn't pull up the editor as soon as you insert the effect. The way you can pull up the editor is by clicking on this little icon that's to the left of it. So we click on that and that pulls up the Studio Devil plugin. We can now use the mouse to turn the knobs as we like to change the sounds. In this case we're lowering the gain, the drive, just to give it more of a, a crunchy sound instead of a high gain sound.
And that's all there really is to it in order to set up your uh, GarageBand with Studio Devil plugins. There's a few little subtle steps there. Uh, we'll we'll uh, review them in a minute. Uh, here's a bypass button that you can use basically just to turn off the effect if that's what you want. Just to make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. So um, to review, um, what we did is we created a new project um, using an acoustic instrument project uh, template. We then made sure that the recording uh, for the track was enabled by lighting up this by clicking on the record button. Uh, we also made sure that input monitoring was on by right clicking uh, or control clicking on the record button and choosing monitor on. Uh, we then went to the edit tab and clicked on an empty slot to insert an effect. Uh, we then edited the effect by clicking on this graphic and that pulled up the graphical user uh, interface for the, um, for the plugin. Um, so now at this point we can actually close and save this project um, and then we can even exit GarageBand and now it's on our desktop so the next time that we want to um, use our Studio Devil plugin either live or for recording we can just double click on that project and it will automatically you know recall all of our settings and you know we're able to uh, basically able to rock. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video I hope this has made the uh, you know, getting Studio Devil to work with uh, your GarageBand a lot easier and answer the questions that you had. Thanks.